moments in the context of this game, big moments in the context of the title race as well. We'll get the thoughts from the boys in just a moment, but first, let's hear from the two men at the centre of it tonight, Jorginho Wijnaldum and Simon Mignolet, are both talking to Des. Thanks very much, Jake. I've got Gino and Simon here who uh, earned a point for Liverpool today. Gino, are you happy to you fought back and got a point out of that game? Yeah, um, you know, I'm happy with... Uh, in all competitions this season, Leicester just two points now above the relegation zone. It finished Middlesbrough 1, West Brom 1 as well. Uh, Sunderland move off the bottom after drawing with Tottenham. A huge result that for Sunderland. And three wins in four Premier League games for Swansea since Paul Clement's arrival. It's great news for them at home against Southampton. And as you can see, three games coming up tomorrow, including one of them live here on BT Sport. And this is what it means then. Football, and uh, the biggest chance was the free kick. And uh, after that, we were a little bit, uh, I think, a little bit disappointed. You can see that the body language. We didn't do did the things that we did before, the pressing and all that stuff. But uh, second, uh, second half, we go again and uh, we give everything. and, and uh, yeah, we scored a goal and uh, we were lucky uh, that Simon uh, got a penalty, so, uh, yeah, the way, it is a good point, but uh, we are a little bit, dis I am a little bit disappointed, I think my teammates also, because I think we, we could have had more this, uh, today, and there was three points, but uh, at the end, I think 1-1 uh, is, is a good result. Could I have more? Could have had less if it wasn't for your penalty save, Simon? Well, yeah, exactly. So uh, you had a chance to uh, save the ball. I'm happy, happy with that. Like Gene said, also uh, straight after the game, uh, the feeling is just to do that against Chelsea. You were leading the Premier League, uh, getting all the points, playing a good football. And then it shows uh, how we are in the dressing room. So I think we deserve to have a three points today. Hello, good evening. Yeah, we are again with the next football review. Consider the English game of Liverpool versus Chelsea. Yeah, the game today finish one one apiece. So, in the context of things and the context of the game and our fairness, I think one one was a good enough result. But and on the next and now I think Liverpool would have feel they deserve a bit more from the game. Or they could have had more from the game. Chelsea could could feel the same as well because they had a penalty save Diego Costa missing. Minute minimally saving that penalty there so and the scheme of things, it was a fair result. But, and more so for Chelsea because Chelsea is well clear at the table, top of the table. And also, with the result coming in today, where Tottenham drew and Arsenal lost, Manchester City still to play tomorrow, as well as United. I think that was a good result for Chelsea in that Liverpool never closed the gap, neither did Arsenal or Tottenham. So Chelsea would see that as a fair result, good result for them. Take a lot of positive from that game there. So it was a good game today, exciting. Both teams come out try, trying to win the game. Lots of tactic, tactical play as well, so. We're hoping to see what Manchester City come, come do tomorrow. Because that is my team there, so. I'm a bit biased towards Manchester City, but. At the end of the day, we still respect and love good football, don't it? Yeah, man. Now, at the end. Firmino could have scored the winning goal where he got a clear one-on-one -on -one opportunity to head the ball past the keeper but failed to do so. But and the scheme I think it was a good game still. Despite more than likely see Chelsea lose this game, but we have to give respect where respect is due and they deserve up at least a point today could be even more it could be argued that they deserve more but 
they deserve the least a pint today so that was that now Arsenal on the other hand Arsenal proving yet again that victory title winning performance is not just not not a Arsenal thing not even not a Arsenal thing I don't know what is the ambition of the club or the fans or are, 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 are the players. I just can't understand the ambition of, of Arsenal Football Club. Because Pep Guardiola, the last time Arsenal won a major trophy, Pep Guardiola was still playing football. So just picture that as a fan. Of a fan of a club or your team. Not trying to bash the Arsenal fan, but just trying to, to show to, to show the anguish the fans must be going through. As a team which the last title a win was since Pep Guardiola was still playing football. The world has changed right over since the last time Arsenal won a major trophy, so without a doubt you can know say Arsenal fans are loyal fans. They have to be. Also Liverpool. If you can encounter and fans that are real loyal, you check Liverpool, Tottenham and Arsenal. You can say Liverpool less so. But Yes, they still got loyal fans. So that was that. You know next week next week we have coming up for the for the Valentine's Day special we have, we got the Champion League coming up for the for that Valentine's week there so we're going to do a video towards that as well. Anyway Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe and look forward to the video. Tick the notification so you can watch more videos whenever I add them. Yeah man, my respect. Out. Bad.